Hey guys, random update. I was in the kitchen earlier this week, and my mom had made bread in the bread machine. She'd made pizza crust, but I glanced at the recipe, and I didn't see pizza crust for the bread machine. I saw pizza crust for the beard machine. I think I've been watching a little bit too much Wheezy Waiter. So I am going to take Naraman's YouTube survey. But I couldn't download the video and make it work on my computer, so I'm just going to play the sound bites and then answer that. Tell us about your first kiss. Uh, my first kiss, it was about three years ago. I was 16, she was 14. It was on Halloween. We were trick-or-treating together. It was very nervous, it was very awkward, and since I read a lot of romance books and fan fiction and watch TV and stuff, I expected more than what happened. I wasn't expecting to see like fireworks or hear an orchestra or something, but I was expecting like tingling or whatever, but it was just weird and wet and warm, and I like the letter W today, and squishy and just weird and not very how I expected it. Next question. Most expensive casual item of clothing ever bought is... Most expensive casual item of clothing. So, um, I was thinking about this when I thought maybe this one shirt, but then I don't remember how much that cost. I don't buy most of my clothes. It's like my mom takes me shopping when I need clothes. But then I remembered this. It's supposed to be a skirt, but seriously, even if you're wearing it down to the floor, someone's waist would be this high. That's, I think, three feet or a meter. So that person would have to be really, really tall. Or else they'd have to wear their skirt really high. So um, I just use it as a dress. And um, it was like 30 or 40 bucks, but it was totally worth it. Next question. What was the first job you ever wanted as a kid? Okay, so I don't really remember the first job I ever wanted, but I remember three jobs that I really wanted. One was a veterinarian. I remember I had a little veterinary kit with a little clipboard and pieces of paper and stethoscope and a pretend shot and I would like check all my stuffed animals and be like oh this one has a cold or this one has a broken leg or something and I put them in a little vet carrier um one was a chef I had an easy bake oven and I only used it once because um my uh, godfather he was a chef and he got it for me and we made cookies and cakes and stuff that day and then I never used it again. And the other one was I wanted to be a marine biologist because when I was little I was obsessed with dolphins. I wanted to swim with the dolphins. I wanted to grow up and work with the dolphins. So I wanted to be a marine biologist so I could swim with the dolphins all day. And I stopped wanting to be a marine biologist when I learned that I would have to dissect a shark. Next question. Tell us about your group of school friends. I had a so, um, my school friends haven't really changed much since ninth grade. Um, we usually refer to ourselves as like geeks, otaku. Um, Lately, in um, community college, we refer to ourselves as the corner because where we hang out is known as the corner, so we're cornarians, which some people accept that nickname and some don't. Um, but yeah, it's just pretty much the same group of people. We hang out, we help each other with homework, we do art stuff, we play internet stuff. We play video games, uh, D&D is a big one, magic, um, paranoia, 
we go to anime cons, just that whole group of people. Those are my friends. Next question. What would you name your kids? So I don't really plan on naming my kids because I don't plan on having kids. I plan on if I'm ever going to get kids, I'm going to be a foster mom. I'm going to work with teenagers and they will already have names so I won't have to name them. But I already have names picked out for my pets. I'm going to name them either after like famous presidents or something really weird. I want a snake named Roosevelt and I want a rabbit and dogs and cats and a hedgehog and I don't know what I'm going to name the hedgehog but it's going to be adorable. But I'm going to name my pets after really weird things like presidents or countries or cities or whatever. One of them, I think I wanted to name the rabbit like Alaska or something. It was, I was, this was a few years back, but I still want lots of pets and I'm going to name them weird things. Next question. Who do you want to answer the survey next? Just every if you see this, answer the survey. I'm going to link to the survey itself in the doobly-doo. Just answer the survey if you want to. It doesn't take too long. There's not that many questions. Four, four, five. It's really easy, and it would it would make people happy. It would make me happy. It would make people who watch it happy. Please answer the question. The survey.